Hi, welcome back to my channel, Trine Divine Tarot. I'm Trine and I'll be doing a reading for the collective today. And I am getting the energies of just some shady business going down. Um, I did a pre-shuffle and the card of going to jail came out quite a few times. So we are going to get into that reading and see what that's all about. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into this now. I'm going to be using my Pre-Raphaelite deck. And I'm also, I have a nasty deck that I created. Okay, it's full of all sorts of karmic goodies. And I'm wearing my hair natural today. This is my hair in its natural state. Okay, I had to wash it. So... And yeah, it takes a long time to straighten all this hair, so <laughs> we're just, and it's like really hot outside and humid, so I'm just like not even going to fight it. I'm just going to wear my hair natural for not right now. But I've smoked my decks, I've anointed my wrists, and we're ready to go. So what is this energy of... I'm just hearing like shady business, man. Just some shady shit going down. And somebody might be going to jail for it. Ooh, that wanted to fly. Okay. We have the seven of wands. Like somebody's very guarded. Somebody's very guarded because something is going down. This is almost to me like she's holding like a rifle, you know, like having to protect herself. So what else do we have here? And that is also standing your ground. That's too many. This shady ass energy that's going down. Okay, so we have the knight of cups which is an apology look at how he looks in this card it's not the usual knight in shining armor that we're used to this is offering an apology of some sort because you're very guarded i'm telling you this is the energy right now just something really shifty Shifty, I'm getting. Look at this is uh, okay. The this is the Ace of Wands. There might have been like uh, somebody may have sabotaged a new opportunity for someone. Or a new love interest, like somebody tried to jump in and sabotage it. This is the world. This is completion. Um, this is a cycle being over. Something that was brand spanking new and ready to go may have been sabotaged. So we have the lovers here. So this is this could have been like a, a new relationship and you know how haters be especially if someone was crushing on her and someone was crushing on him well let me cover <laughs> i guess we have to cover our cards now with the people um and their admirers got word of it and somehow threw a wrench in it but they did it in a really shady, shifty fashion. Like, they could have created all sorts of fake accounts, wearing your face, you know, acting as you, putting all sorts of bullshit out there, getting people to believe one thing that's not, or a few things that aren't true. What type of person? can wear someone else's face 
and go about their day. You know, act like there's nothing wrong with that. That's psycho. That's cuckoo. That's... But people do it every day, don't they? They do it every day. What do we have here? Oh, God. What was I talking about? This is the other shifty, shady energy. This is sabotage. This is blackmail. The cards represent uh, communication. So people talking behind your back. People collecting information on you. And then wearing your face and airing out your business to whoever they can reach, you know, to whoever will hear it from them. This is, look at her face. This is a shifty, shady, bitter ass bitch. Just like looking to sabotage someone's opportunity. Period, point blank. And it could have had to do, I'm going to cover, this is the lover's card underneath. A new love connection. Haters, man. And repeat after me. There's never... Let's see, how do I want to phrase this? There's never telling how low a bitter, hateful bitch will go. And they wonder why they're single. They wonder why they have to wear someone else's face and present someone else's face to the internet, to the world, to, but they won't wear their own. And they won't confront the person that they have a conflict with. They'll just hack their accounts they'll but i'm hearing this is like criminal shit that these people have done like they may have hacked your internet they may have they may have followed you around in their car they may have put a tracking device in your car this is like going like way past petty Okay, this is going into criminal activity. And I'm going to clear this, clarify this with my nasty deck and we'll really see. But this is a king hater, queen hater, and they have friends. Okay, because haters always, haters always come in too. Okay, and then they breed and they have hateful little babies. So... What else? What is this shifty ass energy? The Seven of Swords. Ooh. You can't make this shit up, okay? And I don't make it up. The Devil. This is evil ass energy. What would you call it? This is spite. This is evil. It's the lowest vibrational energy. You know, sometimes in a certain read, the devil can represent uh, passion. It can represent the government. It can represent other things other than what it is. But in this reading, it is what it is. It's just evil, toxic. The lowest of the low they went below the belt, okay? All out of jealousy. All out of jealousy. And you're wondering why that other person chose somebody else. It's probably because they see you like this. Ill. Ill. Like, I could never do that. I could never create fake profiles and fake accounts and parade around as somebody else. You know? 
just to slander somebody, just to one up somebody, just to have the advantage of creating chaos in someone else's life in order to sabotage them. That's the difference between the good people and the bad people. And the bad people are always wondering why they're not getting chosen. And then you're going to go after your love interests person or you're going to go after your love interest themselves because they don't love you because they see you as a devil. They see your evil lower vibrational energies. They don't want to give themselves to this. Who does? Yeah. You're walking away. You're walking away. Or this sabotage. Or this situation. You could be dealing with a baby mama, an ex, an ex-friend, an ex-family member. But you're like, I've had it. And you're like, have it. You know, just whatever, leave me alone. I have dealt with this situation long enough. I'm going on to my ninth cup, which is wish fulfillment. Um, my heart's desire and I'm keeping positive. I'm not going to be in this lower vibrational energy. I'm not going to go there. You went there because you're that type of person that would do that. I am not. I'm going to my ninth cup and after the nine is the ten. Hmm. Fuck off. Let's go. This fucking creepy bitch here. <laughs> okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. So look at him too. Like. <laughs> what do I say about the Knight of Pentacles? He's the last one to the finish line, but he always makes it. And what, you know, I said the nine of cups, but it also could be the 10 of pentacles as well. You know, don't let these haters distract you from your goals. And maybe there was a distraction here. This is why it may have taken you longer to get to your ninth cup than it should have because of this seven of swords energy going on it's like they'll tell everybody else they have a problem with you but they won't tell you that they have a problem with you why is that A lot can be solved with just a simple conversation. But I, you know, I don't think they want to solve anything. Look at. <laughs> you know what they're hating? Let's focus it a little bit better. Because you're in your empress energy. Emperor energy. That is why the sabotage is coming. What does Cat Williams say? If you don't at least have five haters on you at all time, you ain't doing nothing, okay? Well, the Empress has at least seven as we're talking right now. Okay, so. Mm, sorry. And the Empress gets a lot of attention. She can't help it. 
The Empress doesn't chase either. And the Empress dates at her level. Emperor dick only. She don't settle for no pages. Okay? No knights. King or emperor only. And Seven of Swords energy. That's some petty ass baby shit. What else is going on? Oh my gosh. Okay, so the truth is being spoken here. The Queen of Swords came out. The Empress, since she embodies all the queens, might be in her Queen of Swords energy. She says, enter at your own risk. You know, in the traditional Rider weight deck, she's holding up her side, her sword, and she's motioning people to come in. Like, if you have something to say, say it, but don't say it in, in, in back of me. Say it to my face. Don't create fake fucking profiles and parade around as me. With fake information or whatever these people do, okay? <laughs> like, like I said, I don't know the extent of what they do because I'm a person that wouldn't do that. I don't have to do that. Empress, Empress don't act like that, okay? Excuse the shaky camera. The Empress doesn't act that way. She sits on her throne. She observes what's going on. She doesn't take breadcrumbs. She doesn't date fuckboys. She knows her worth. What else is this? I told you there is a sketchy energy about this. And we have this Seven of Swords and the Devil card coming out. And the first card we pulled out was the Seven of Wands. Very guarded energy. She looks like she's holding a, <laughs> a shotgun at the door. like Because <laughs> whatever these people pulled, they went above and beyond. And to the point where it's like criminal activity now. So let me get my nasty deck out. And let's see what brought all of this on and what are the consequences? Like I said, I was at my pre-shuffle jail, jail time for somebody, jail, you break into somebody's cable Wi-Fi, you hack people's accounts. That's criminal activity. You're slandering somebody. That's defamation of character. <laughs> and if you think like the, the law enforcement can't track that, you're even more of a delusional psychopath. What brought about all this sketchy behavior, this bear with me my cards I write them when I'm channeling so they're a little messy but they're, they're downloads and I write them really super fast okay and I know, unfortunately, in the camera, they come in backwards, but it says they like to inflict pain on people. So this is something that they like to enjoy. They enjoy doing this. 
It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they're in control of someone else, someone else's life, someone else's destiny. I'm telling you, you're dealing with a, you're dealing with a very hurt person because only hurt people hurt other people and enjoy it, okay? So they like to inflict pain on people. They're doing this on purpose. What else with this devil energy, please? They're just awful people. It says awful parents, awful role models, and awful people. They're just awful. They're just lower vibrational energy. What caused this attack? <laughs> it says, what, look at, and I'll always say it. I'll always say it. I clarify my cards and my cl cards clarify me. This is the seven of swords, okay? And my card says, sneaky, liar, underhanded ways are being exposed. They're a stalker, they're a watcher, and they have an unhealthy obsession. The devil card also represents obsession, unhealthy obsession, S stalking, which is illegal, which is criminal. What else is bringing this about? Bad karma for being a jackal in sheep's clothing. So they are receiving some sort of karma for this behavior because they have may have been um, attacking you for quite some time. Okay, this is the night that's like kind of like a timekeeper type energy. He's he's the last one to get to the finish line. He takes the longest. Um, so for me in this card, this is representing, they may have been like sneak attacking you for a long time. Like I said, infiltrating your social media accounts, uh, wearing your face, pretending to be you. To try to sabotage your love interests, to sabotage your opportunities. I'll say it again. There's no telling how low a hateful bitch will go. And you got a major, major hater and they have friends. Like I said, haters always come in two and then they have babies. And you're in your empress energy. It's to be expected. The slander, the defamation of character. They're always trying to kick the number one spot off the throne. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> I just said, oh my, kick him off the throne. And I said, they're getting kicked out of the house, but just the word kicked, okay. <laughs> What else for this reading? These are some shifty ass bitches we're dealing with, or shifty ass energy. And a bitch could be a man or a female or all of the above, okay? <sighs> what did I say? I said they went above and beyond. We have FBI, federal agent, private investigator, security. They did something so shady that it's like above your local police department now. I'm hearing identity theft. 
somebody is really wearing your face, creating fake profiles, parading around as you, and ca causing chaos of some sort. When it's federal, uh, sometimes it has to do with money. So they may have been per making purchases in your name or I'm hearing, I'm hearing signing thing. I'm hearing signing your name to contracts or forgery. Like your name is on a legal document somewhere and it's being traced. And the investigation is, it's they're finding out that it's not you. The, they may have had this person on camera signing your name, but then when they look up your driver's license or, or what have you, it's it's not the same face. It's just not the same face. Oh, I'm also hearing it could it could be a um, a contract of some sort. Let's say you were uh, left in a will or an inheritance, and whoever was in charge of that situation denied you, denied you, signed your name as you and somehow was able to collect it. But this can be tracked. This can be tracked to the courthouse. This can be tracked to the document. Um, somehow these people, like I said, this is bigger and they went way below the belt to the point where the FBI is involved now. It's it's past your local uh, police department. They may have started GoFundMes or um, put you on the dark web somewhere and, and has been making money off of you. I hate to say things like that, but it happens. It happens. <sighs> I don't know if you saw that or not, but bad karma for doing criminal, criminal illegal acts. What was the energy that I told you we were going to start off on today? This is it. They're receiving their karma for doing these criminal illegal acts because they've been doing them for so long and they're narcissistic and psychotic and, and they're sociopaths that they believe that they could get away with it. And now they get to see the person they broke down rise up in glory. Because you went empress energy. You embody all the queens. You can slice and dice and put them on ice. That's why they come to you underhanded. That's why they did all this, all this terrible shit behind your back without you knowing, but you kind of had an idea but you don't fuck around with peasants. You don't fuck around with lower vibrational energies. You're the empress. Ain't nothing knocking you down. They want to give you their perspective of you. They're trying to take the words out of your mouth.
give the empress the opportunity to speak and we'll see how quick shit gets regulated okay the shit will be regulated that fast now they get to see the person they broke down rise up in glory This one says, I pray on prostitutes and weak women. So like I said, they could have been stalking you, did something really sick. They could have put little hidden cameras in your home, in your bathroom, and uploaded it to the dark web and made money off of this. I pray on prostitutes and weak women. Like I said, this could be for a man or a woman because women do this to other women all the time. All the time. Um, I said we're dealing with a narcissist, but it's more than narcissist. We're dealing with a true psychopath, a true sociopath. Someone, what was that card that I pulled out? They like to inflict pain on other people. We have the death card here. This might this reading might be even getting even darker. Uh, we might be dealing with a killer here. I'm getting the chills. What did I say? I planted spy devices in your home. Okay, so there's bad energy, okay? And then there's... The devil, okay? These are people with like serial killer type tendencies. And the death doesn't have to be like actual like killing your body, but this could be killing your reputation, killing your opportunities. What else, angels? Inside the TV, their device could be hidden inside your TV somewhere, in your cable box, in the router. Um, there's a space where you can point your remote, where that on and off button is. It's actually a clear, um, that's enough to put a little pinhead camera in. And there you go, they're watching you. They're streaming you somewhere and people are paying them to watch you and your family or don't say it doesn't happen because it does but I want you to be assured this is big time and the FBI is involved now it's like over your local police department the feds are involved, the FBI is involved because this is big time. Or I could be channeling the energy of that serial killer that just caught in Staten Island. That is a big possibility too. I know that I'm like, <laughs> ah, I'm getting the chills. 
Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I pray on prostitutes and weak women. And that's what he was doing. He was praying on prostitutes. But these little motherfuckers are like spiders. You know, when you see one, there's like five or ten more other places. Or they have tendencies to do this shit. Oof. It says fake news. Fake news. This is that slander. This is the blackmail. This is the the shit that you're talking about on you all around town. And where whoever will listen, there they go. But it's fake news. It's fake news. It's not. The thing is, the reason why people are believing them is maybe because uh, they're doing this online and they're doing it behind a fake profile, maybe even wearing your face. Again, again, hidden camera, listening devices, electrical outlets. I don't mean to scare anybody, but this is where they would plant shit like that. This person is bipolar. They suffer depression. Um, they might have that ADHD. Um, mental anguish what did i say hurt people hurt people okay this is an individual that is suffering or their past suffering like their heart is cold and they don't mind hurting other people they want to bring other people down to their level they like to inflict pain on people so people can understand their pain. We are not dealing with a person that, like I said, psychopath, sociopath. Bipolar depression is like the least of their concerns. Like they are... We're dealing with somebody that's kind of dangerous, okay? <sighs> so we're jumping. We're jumping here. So we're going to jump back to the initial story. What might have caused this? Or this is another situation, but... Seeing the love of your life, move on with somebody better. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to guard, but the lovers are here. Okay. And this bitch is set to attack and sabotage. Look at her. Look at the lovers. I wish I could show the whole card, but, but they're, they're a little naked. <laughs> and here she is, or he is, the third party. Ready to attack. Or they have been attacking. They may have tried to attack seven... seven different types of ways. Like I said, social media following you around, putting a tracker in your car, putting a hidden device in your home. All because seeing the love of, of their life move on with somebody better. 
What did I say? This person... This person saw their devil and was turned off by it. They're like, "That's this is not for me. This is this is just not for me." And I came into union with somebody that is more for me, and I deserve happiness. And this person. went crazy and this could be an ex lover or this could be somebody with an obsession with you excuse me spiritual <laughs> um, let's see what else get another one What did also identity theft? Identity theft. And trying, what did I say? Nar trying to make it look like an unfortunate accident. I'm just hearing this really down and dirty play. I'm hearing cutting people's brake lines, trying to cover their tracks, trying to make it look like a natural accident. There's no telling how low a hateful, bitter bitch will go. What's this person's karma? What did I fucking just say? They're crazy out of their minds. They're crazy out of their minds. They're crazy out of their, they're cuckoo. They're cuckoo. They're, okay. It says five o'clock shadow. So they are living in their shadow side right now or they're being shadowed by the police they're experiencing financial loss like if i'm hearing if they made any sort of money from off of you you're going to get that money back. Some way, somehow, it's going to be returned to you. Look. Where's the FBI? The FBI card here, and this is, don't worry I caught these fuckers. Okay? This is the message someone had to hear. Don't worry. I told you the feds are here, okay? Don't worry. I caught these fuckers. And the last card. Karma is a bitch. And then you die. I'm going to leave it right there, collective. That's a good way to wrap this reading up. Trust me, this person that's in their devil shadow energy is being dealt with. Okay? So get ready to hear some news. I don't know, or I'm just going to leave it there. I don't even know what to say after all this, okay? <laughs> like, it, it'll be fine. Source is sending you protection, okay? So realize that. Keep prayed up. Keep prayed up. That's, 
keep prayed up pray against this negative energy okay child baby dolls